Hello, my name is George Myhall, and this is another offering from my Office of Image Archaeology. The following video was digitized from a couple of old reels of 16mm film that appears to have been cutting room floor stock footage. The film was shot during the construction of the new Malonis Dam located in the central Sierra Nevada foothills within Calaveras and Tuolumne counties in California. This dam was built to replace the original 211-foot Malonis Dam that was constructed in 1926 by the Oakdale and South Joaquin Irrigation Districts. The film also records the construction of the Stevenoff Bridge that carries State Route 49 over the new Malonis Lake on the Stanislaus River. The bridge was named after Archie Stevenot, who helped found the California Chamber of Commerce and was completed in 1976. I found the following information on the Bureau of Reclamation website. In the late 1890s, settlers in the area of Calaveras and Tuolumne counties in the Sierra foothills of California began to divert water from the rivers of various areas throughout the foothills. Later in that decade, utilities began harnessing the rivers for hydroelectric power which was exported out of the basin. The United States Congress passed the Reclamation Act of 1902, which created the Reclamation Service. Today, that service is referred to as the Bureau of Reclamation. Around the same time, local irrigation districts were created in the foothills. Two of these were the Oakdale and the South Sam Joaquin Irrigation Districts. In 1926, their combined efforts saw the construction of a 211-foot-high dam, referred to here as the Old Malonis Dam. This original dam was designed to store up to 112,500 acre-feet of water, providing plenty of water for agriculture in the valley below. In 1944, Congress authorized the construction of the new Malonis Dam to prevent flood damage caused by rain and snow melt and to the 35,000 acres of downstream agricultural land and communities of Oakdale, Riverbank, Ripon, as well as others further downstream. Congress modified this authorization in the 1962 Flood Control Act to include irrigation, power, wildlife and fishery enhancement, recreation, and water quality as reasons for construction. The United States Army Corps of Engineers began construction in 1966. Public controversy caused years of construction delays. Despite this, the dam was completed in 1978 and the spillway and powerhouse were completed in 1979. Today the reservoir is part of the Central Valley Project, created to provide water to arid areas in California and minimize downstream flooding. There is always some impact on the environment when projects of this magnitude are undertaken, but in the case of the new Malonis Dam project, history was also affected. The history of the folks that called the area home for at least hundreds if not thousands of years is now covered by a lake. Hundreds of years before the old Malonis Dam was constructed, the area that became Malonis Lake and much more of California was occupied by a group of indigenous people we know today as the Miwok Indians. But there is evidence that the location of the new Malonis Dam and Lake have been occupied for much longer. Stone tools and artifacts give evidence that humans have made their home there for about 9,600 years. When the first explorers arrived in California, they estimated that the Miwok Indians were the most populous of the Indian groups and numbered around 9,000. These were divided into three groups by dialect and geography, northern, central, and southern. The central Sierra Miwok inhabited the New Malonis Lake Project area. The Miwok were believed to be the most populous of the California Indian groups, but by the 1910 census, only about 670 surviving Miwok Indians were recorded, and of those, only half were full blooded. I love to watch time lapse videos of vast projects that take multiple years to complete, and that's exactly what this film is. If you like that kind of thing too, you'll really enjoy this. It's kind of soothing in a way, and I put some cool music to it. Um, starts in the beginning of the construction and ends uh, when, the, when the job is done. And you get to see what it was like before and then what it was like afterward by a few years actually. So um, enjoy the film, watch it to the end, and you'll be glad you did. Have a great day.
the dark run into the light I try to run and I try to hide In the end I guess I lost my fight They got the tough, they got the lot Oh, here they come, they never stop Every car behind me is a car Every car behind me is a car Against the wall and don't you move They always win, you always lose Oh, they got the law, they got the drive
I always enjoy films like this because I do a lot of research and I learn a lot of new things. I didn't know a lot about either the uh, new Malonis Dam or the Miwok Indians. And after doing some research, I got a bit of an education. Like as I said, that's always the case. And I hope it helped you out too. I hope if uh, you're familiar with the place that uh, you enjoyed seeing what it used to look like. And if you didn't know anything about it, I, I hope that you got a little bit of an education as well. Um, listen, uh, this uh, channel has got over a thousand films on it, um, a lot of really interesting stuff. Go explore, take a look around, and I'm sure, absolutely positive, that you'll find something else that you enjoy seeing. Meanwhile, thank you so much. Um, have a great day. Like, share, and subscribe. Thanks.